there's a time where all the stars align. Where if you started the game right now, you would be able to get some of the most broken units, some of the strongest equips, and be extremely set up for most future content in the game. These moments don't come around too often, but ladies and gentlemen, right here, right now in Grand Summoners Global, is exactly one of those moments. With the Fate crossover and Summer Fate, there are a ton of units that are out that just pretty much have limitless potential and are all extremely broken. So in this video, we're gonna tell you the best reroll that you can go for, the best setup you can have right out the gate, plus a general game plan to get you started so you don't have to worry about anything going forward. Let me tell you about the man himself, Shiro. Emiya. Shiro Emiya is one of the strongest units in this game, and if you look at any tier list, he's always at the top. It's for a good reason. This guy has tons of damage reduction in the kit, and if you like transformation characters, he technically has a transformation with unlimited blade works, except instead of him transforming, he transforms the whole stage. While he's in unlimited blade works, not only does his entire kit get stronger, he also is able to give your team passive DR while also giving a pretty complimentary physical res down and pretty nasty super art if you use it during Unlimited Blade Works. The main thing here though is that if you use him, you're probably just going to be using Unlimited Blade Works, go into his art and kind of just tank everything because most bosses can't deal with him. You also have some other godly units in the vendor like Chloe. She's able to abuse one of the mechanics in Grand Summoners known as Breaking and the reason why she's so good at it is because she's a hybrid between a support unit and a breaker. You also have Ilya, which is another support unit that is all about buffing up your crit chance, giving you a bit more damage, and she has a mega nuke on her super art. And then you have Ren, which gives you astronomical damage. So we got our four, these characters we need to summon for, these characters that we need to get in our reroll. We don't need to get all four of them, but I would tell you right now, the godly reroll to have would be a Shiro, a Rin, and a Chloe. Not only do you get incredible damage reduction with this reroll, you get amazing damage ups because of Rin, and you get amazing support because of Chloe. So let's talk about how to actually get this. This is a fresh new Grand Summers Global account. This will be the stuff you're greeted with as soon as you start. Skip the tutorial unless you haven't played it then i recommend you do it just to kind of get the basics down but after you do it once just skip it every single time then you'll be greeted with this screen here where you can pick one of the three blade masters pretty much picking your starter pokemon i always go with corsair she's able to freeze she's able to give you arc age whenever you awaken her so hey it's pretty solid after that you're going to be greeted by a bunch of cutscenes, which don't matter and then you're going to be having a bunch of login bonuses there is a specific login bonus here that is very important and is the one that gives you a ticket on day 10 not the gs ticket though the fate ticket. The reason why this is important because this allows you to select Chloe, Ilya, or Miyu. This will be important for later. You'll also be getting a summon lottery. Don't click summon after you roll the summon lottery. If you Even if you get 100 summons, don't do it. It will mess up everything if you summon on the summon lottery first before you summon on the banner. So save that for after you get done with your reroll. Now, since you're finally in the game, you're gonna start with around 50 something crystals here, which is a pretty solid start, and we could definitely get some more pretty quickly if we had to. So what we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be going into the summon section, and we're gonna be scrolling to where we see this banner here. This is the Fate banner that has Shiro, Ilya, Chloe, and Rin on it. What we're gonna do first and foremost is we're gonna do a single summon and see if we can get Shiro, and if we don't get Shiro in that single summon, we're gonna then do a multi-summon. Be asking ask him why do a single summon why not just do the multi you have the multi your very first summon whether that be on the unit banner or the equip banner will give you a five star doesn't matter your very first summon on either one will always give you a five star so to not waste that and to make it as optimal as possible you do a single summon first then you do a multi unfortunately we didn't get anything on the single summon so we're going to go straight into the multi and we got shiro Yep. This is not scripted, by the way. If you weren't that lucky with your reroll and you didn't get Shiro in this initial few summons, then you want to go down here to the menu, scroll down to where you see deleting personal information, click on that, and then you'll be greeted with this screen here. What you're going to want to do is check off all these boxes and click continue, and this is going to restart you at the very beginning where it asks you to skip the tutorial again. This is how you reroll no matter what device you are on, and it's the easiest way to do it. So you'll do this over and over until you get Shiro. Hopefully it won't take you too long. After getting Shiro, we're going to back out and we're going to go into our missions and stuff and claim all the rewards so we can at least get three crystals. Why do we need three crystals? Well, it's because we need units and of course we have Shira already. We have one piece to our puzzle, but we can get a few more things too. Like for an example, equipment. Equipment is extremely important in this game and it makes it to where your units are actually usable. And one of the equips that we want to be going for here is going to be in the base fate equip banner and it's going to be Shiro Emiya's outfit. 
And what I want you guys to do is that you want to take these three crystals you just got and you want to single summon on this banner. As mentioned before, it's going to give you a guaranteed five star because your first summon and hopefully you get Shiro Emiya's outfit. If you don't, it's okay. We'll come back to it. If you go into the town, then click the alchemist and you scroll down to where you see exchange alk. You can click on that and you'll see a unit of choice ticket. You want to get this selector ticket because this will allow you to select a few awoken units that may help you out on your quest. After you buy the ticket, you need to go into the exchange and scroll all the way down to where you see the tickets. The units that we're going to be wanting to go for here are either Finn, Sandstone, or Weaver. For right now, if you're watching this current video, we're talking about this specific time period, pick Finn every time. Why pick Finn? He's an Archgener. He'll stack with the other Archgeners that you're going to be getting from other stuff, and you don't have to worry about that. So let's talk about this ticket that you guys are going to be getting on day 10 of logging in through the fate crossover. This ticket will allow you to select Chloe, Miyu, or Ilya. Meaning that you're able to make your account even stronger right out the gate, completely for free. You don't have to worry about summoning, you don't have to worry about chance or anything. You just log in, you get this ticket, and you're able to obtain them. Every single one of y'all that didn't get Chloe from your basic summon, you're gonna wanna pick up Chloe every single time. If you got Chloe from your reroll, then A, go with Ilya. Don't worry about Miyu. I want to set you guys up with support units, and the only two support units here from this ticket are going to be Chloe and Ilya. And now we're talking about what we can do with our crystals in the future. Now, I'm not going to be able to tell you everything when it comes to everything coming out in order to give you an extremely good guideline. That's what the should you summons are for, which, by the way, stay tuned to the channel because I'm always putting out new ones whenever new banners drop. But I will tell you the basic guideline when it comes to summoning in this crossover. Part two of Summer Fate. This banner will feature Summer Miyu and Summer Sakura. The one that we want is going to be Summer Miyu. And why is that? Why do we want to go for Summer Miyu over like part one of Summer Fate? or even maybe some of the characters in part three. Summer Miyu can easily hard carry you through majority of bosses in the early game, plus even some mid game bosses in the storyline. She has so much built in damage and she's very self sufficient to the point to where she doesn't need any type of crazy equips or anything. You put her on a team and she's gonna be doing work. Just know if you get this unit, you wanna use her true art over and over and over and then use that super art whenever you get to the boss room and you'll kill majority of stuff in the game. This should be the next character you are seeking out. After you get Summer Miyu, which hopefully you do, there's one more character that you would want to go for, and this character will replace your Chloe in most situations. However, it doesn't mean Chloe's going to get completely on the back burner. It's just that when you need Fire Chloe, you'll use Fire Chloe over this unit, and that is going to be the same unit actually it's going to be summer chloe summer chloe and fire chloe can't be used alongside each other just because their support doesn't really stack with each other i would get into that but it's going to be a whole topic that's going to confuse y'all just know the arch gen for these two units don't stack but the reason why summer chloe is so good is because she is a light unit that's able to give you a ton of support and a ton of damage up while also being able to heal your team passively all the time so you get a lot of value with this character you get a healer you get an arch shinner and you get damage ups very good stuff here if you are able to obtain these two units summer miyu and summer chloe you are going to be so set even if you can't get summer chloe and you get summer miyu and that's it you're still so set for right now don't stress too much about it just make sure if you can try to get one of them at least now hopefully by this point you have been doing quite a bit of the story, you maybe even started tackling some of the events, and if you got to chapter 5 you also unlocked side story. I'm going to tell you guys right now, do all of it. Try to level up the equips you are getting from the events as well, max level them, max limit break them. All of this stuff is extremely valuable to you as a new player. The only thing you may not be able to clear is stuff like Dungeon of Trials and some of the other like ultra trial events because those are more in-game content so don't worry about those but anything else that's a event or an epic event or some other side story you're gonna want to do it if you want to know about specific equips you should probably farm as a new player i have a video on that exact topic and it will be pop up on your screen at the end of this video maybe you've done the summon lottery too at this point and you've obtained a few different awoken characters maybe you're even interested in awakening them and if you're interested in awakening any of your characters that are just base awoken you can easily do that the best way to do it though is to go into the fate missions and scroll all the way down until you see this right here where it says clear certain boss 
on advance. This will give you the fragments you need to awaken majority of your characters you're going to be getting right out the gate. I recommend you do this for any of the characters you have that aren't already awoken. You're going to want to awaken your characters because that is going to be their strongest state when it comes to base awoken characters. When it comes to the Ascended characters though, we need to tackle Summoner's Road, which is technically one of the in-game activities in GS. But I'm going to tell you guys how to tackle it and how to make it as stress-free as possible. If you go into the Mission tab in Fate and you scroll all the way down, you will see that you're able to obtain at least 60 Summoner Orbs for clearing Summoner's Road 10 times. You don't have to full clear Summoner's Road 10 times, it counts every single clear you get on a stage. So there's five stages in Summoner's Road. So if you clear stage one through five, then that will count as five clears. If you do it again, then there you go. You've gotten all 10 clears already. We're not gonna worry about getting to stage five though. It's gonna be way too hard for us as a brand new player. So what we're gonna be mainly focusing on is at least getting to stage two. If you can't get to stage two, don't worry about it. Just try to clear stage one. If we check out the mission tab in Summoner's Road, you will see that if we clear stage one, we get currency, and if we clear stage two, we get Summoner's Orbs, 50 of these things. So hopefully you guys can see the game plan here. We clear stage one to get a thousand currency, and then we clear stage two if we can in order to get that 50 Summoner's Orbs. We then turn back once we hit stage two, so we can get Soul Orbs and currency within those two stage clears. And now we use all that currency that we got to buy summoner's orbs and hopefully by this point you obtained at least around like 60 summoner orbs now the only thing you have to worry about is doing this a few more times in order to clear the rest of the fate missions so you can get enough to ascend your unit you only need to do this technically once for each element at the current moment. The reason why is because the fate missions are a one time claim. They're not repeatable. Don't worry about doing it multiple times right now. We just need to do it enough to at least ascend one character in each element. Let me tell you who are the most important units to ascend right out the gate and who are the ones that you can maybe wait on a bit. First and foremost, you have Shiro Emiya. After Shiro, if you got Summer Miyu, then that is who you're gonna be ascending here. Why Summer Miyu over any of our other fire units? It's because she gets her strongest once she has her super art. As soon as you ascend her and she gets access to that super art, you now have one of the strongest attackers in the game. After Summer Miyu, I would highly recommend that you do Summer Chloe. Summer Chloe gets her damage up on her super art, plus she gets a bunch of other supporting effects and all of her kit gets buffed. And then if you want to try to tackle the rest of Summoner's Road in order to ascend your other characters, that is where you're going to be wanting to ascend your regular Chloe, your Ilya, and then finally your Rin if you got her. And there you go. That is everything you need to know in order to have one of the best starts currently in Grand Summoners Global. If you have any questions at all, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Or if you have any other question about this game, you can search it up on this channel. And there are so many guides I have made talking about every single aspect of this game. Even if the guide is a year old or two years old, it is still relevant. It's still good information. Nothing really changed. So hey, if you're starting right now and you're using this guide, I wish you all the best of luck. Hopefully you get the units you want. Hopefully you're able to get your reroll pretty quick. Hopefully you get the characters you want and hopefully you get lucky on your summons. The only thing I ask of all you guys for giving you all of this juicy information is to like the video and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot to tell y'all. Don't forget to drink water.